Welcome, ancient ones. I know it's been some time, but there was a lot of exciting changes going on. So I decided that personal readings will stay. Um, I will be offering personal readings from Thursday to Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to, you know what, scratch that. From Thursday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, I am offering five slots. Um, there are only going to be hour slots though. So the price is going to be 50 for these hour slots. Um, individuals that have, have, have had um, appointments with me know that the hour slots do tend to go over as, you know, they ask questions because like I said, you can, you know, ask questions. I'll try to help as best I can. And sometimes the answers to those questions aren't as simple as we would like. Um, so they can become quite, those sessions can carry over, you know, an hour or so. Uh, so you definitely don't have to worry about, you know, I'm not, I'm not just getting you in and then getting you out. I actually do, you know, answer your guy, you guys' questions or, you know, what have you. Um, so again, personal readings will be Thursday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., one hour uh, slots at $50 rates. Uh, the uh, instructions to book will be listed in the description box below, and it can also be found in the About Me tab on my channel page. Uh, with that being said, I want to give a huge shout out to Sally Moon, aka my girl Sailor Moon. She is very awesome and she gave a very generous uh, tip and donation to the channel. So I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you and many blessings. Also, another huge thank you to uh, Paris. Thank you so much for your tip. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings. Uh, so with that being said, oh, I do also want to say that I will be going live. Um, don't feel bad if you miss it. It's really not like a chill session or anything. It's really just um, I'm going to pull some messages from a few of the ancestors. Uh, I was going to do the Egyptian, Native American, European, and African um, ancestors. And yes, Egyptian is African, but when I first got these downloads, um, I just wrote them down in the order that they visited me um, and provided me information. So, yeah, I'll do that. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and start in uh, to it. Um, the downloads I had, I pretty much posted all of them in the shorts, um, but uh, the there was only one. Ooh. Got to get some incense up in here. Yeah, there was only one and it really was coming as um some of you need to stretch and move your body you uh are like carrying a lot of pent up um emotion emotion and frustration also um stagnant type of energy there so um yeah that was like the only major thing um also too i'm hearing somebody is, is like was putting too much pressure for the sacred sacred dancing and it's really not you don't it's really not as complicated it's you just really need to your body just needs to move freely you know don't try to like plan out like a chore, choreography type of thing it's not that you just need to move a little free um i am going to pull out some of my new cards so that's perfect uh and well, let me get started all right um, I already meditated. Let me think about the prayer. Alright. Oh, okay. So first up, yeah, we have worship naked. Um, this card likes to pop out a lot when it feels as though there's like, uh, a, a type of reluctant or hindrance around your worship. Um, it could even be because you are not as confident as spirit would like you to be. So they want you to either, you can do this in nature, you could do it around a fire, in a circle, your sacred space, whatever, wherever you're comfortable, under the sun, under the moon, you know, it doesn't matter, but they want you to worship naked. They, they, they want you to really connect and stop, stop it. Yeah, a moon goddess wants to work with you. So take that how that resonates. You need to worship this moon goddess um, naked. We also have a witch deity. So double up on that. 
a witch deity, a moon goddess. Um, this could definitely be Lilith, Hecate, Isis. Um, you know, the list can go on. So take that how that resonates. Um, We have reincarnated deity flew out. We've been picking up that for quite some reading. Some ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Way too many cards came out, but I'm gonna take one, two, three, and put them back. Uh, I'll take this one too. And then we have this little group. Oh, it's only three cards, so I'll take them. Okay. So first up we have ancient ancestors. Movement came out because, like I said, some of you definitely need to move. Um, it could have been even uh, involving this worship, this sacred dancing, but you, you need to move because there's some pent up energy, some type of stagnation going on there. And spirits like you, you, you can't stay stagnant, you got to move it. Um, some of you um, could be seeing shadow beings. Um, shadow beings have always watched you, they are definitely curious about you. Um, your light is definitely attracting them. You are a person of interest for them. Not in a bad way, though. I'm not trying to scare you. We have warrior ancestors out here. Um, they could be these ancient ancestors at that. We have reincarnated high priests, our high priestess. Take the how that resonate. And out here we have um, King Tut, which is funny because we have re reincarnated deity. And King Tut does have a deified status. We have yellow feathers. Um, yellow feathers are are known to be charged by this with the sun's power. So take that how that resonates. You could be connected to the sun. You could do sun worship. You could be connected to Ra. Okay, we have triple nines out. Some of you are completing a cycle. Um, some of you are even coming up on your purpose, too. Um, so spirit is working very closely with you right now. They want you to welcome new beginnings. Um, they, they, they want you to be excited about what's to head, what's ahead. Uh, some of you, you're, you're um, getting into your crown chakra. It's becoming active. You could be feeling itchy and tingly scalp, like at the very top of your head. Some of you could be feeling a very heavy sensation as well at this time, even like numbing headaches. Um, this color is associated with white and violet. You could be interested in those colors. You could be keep seeing those colors um, at this time. But the crown chakra focuses on inner and outer beauty as well as your spiritual connection. So a lot of you um, are definitely, uh, like I said, connected. You are tapped in for sure. We have spiders out here. Um, again, they represent that ancient wisdom, that artistry, patience, manifestation, feminine power. So again, back to that moon goddess, that, that energy of worship, um, like this very primal energy around it. You have a connection with animals, specifically snakes, dogs, cats, and birds. But I heard, you know, like amphibians and reptiles too. You just have an affinity towards like all animals. Like you find beauty in all of them. Like even, you could even like be the type of person that thinks certain dogs that a lot of people would say are ugly. You probably think they're cute or you like the naked cats. You know those little cats that they're like, they don't have any fur. They're so cute though. Ooh, again, way too many. I'm just going to take the first one and put the rest back. We have Reiki at the top. Some of you do Reiki, been thinking about it, or you had Reiki done on you, and you're thinking, like, I like the way this feels. I can get into this. But the high priestess is out here. Um, you could be a high priestess or have high priest priestesses in your bloodline. You'll have to stop doing this. Master number 33 is out here. That Leo, that sun energy again, doubling up on that yellow flower. Um, yellow flowers too, they also represent blessings, joy, playfulness, wisdom, alertness, and intelligence. And a lot of these deities, they do, they love working with intellectuals. Um, your next familiar could be a spider, which is funny because we have spiders out here. Some of you like jumping spiders, some of you like tarantulas. Some of you could already have this pet or be thinking about getting it. Some of you could just be seeing spiders in your house, on your hikes, on your desk, in your car. 
Um, they're trying to send you a message. Spirit is telling you to go ahead and try to, you know, look up the meaning of encountering one of these um, uh, spider species because there's definitely a message for you there. And I'm hearing pay attention to to the time when you get the when you see these animals because there may be a message for you. Okay, we have. Um, your energy and vibration can be felt through different dimensions. A lot of you, like I said, are fucking powerhouses. Some of you may also be um, star seeds. Nonetheless, you need to call back your energy. This has been a running theme. If you're new to my channel, go back and watch uh, all the videos. They're actually like a timeline. But this has been a running theme for like the past few reads. Um, a lot of you are working on calling your energy back and that's amazing. But some of you are still being stuck on ways to call your energy back and that's what's like holding you up there we have angel number 1212 12. again that is a sign you're about to be blessed with abundance in your life so again that's for someone too that um has put in the work and they you know have reached a point in their spiritual journey where they're ready to you know for things to start coming into fruition for them some of you too are just receiving a blessing because you had such hard times and spirit is trying to help alleviate that for you Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, y'all. My hands are small. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ooh, Atlantis fell out, though. That could resonate for someone. Uh, we have false lovers. <laughs> like I said, I don't do love readings, and sometimes these those cards will come out, and there's not many. Uh, cards pertaining to lovers but when that card comes out that is a card that is saying you definitely need to like i said some of you are these ancient beings and you're with people that are not of the same rank and your spirit team does not appreciate it these are people that are definitely a hindrance to you they could be holding you up making you feel bad about yourself um lovers doesn't always it doesn't even you know sometimes this card pops out even if it's not like someone you're in a relationship with it could be a friend it could be a family member it could even be a job but it tends to pop out when there's this energy around that's making you doubt yourself and it's they're causing a block in your path and spirit is trying to bring it to your attention okay leo came out again so yeah, fortifying that sun energy. This is that primal like energy, that creative energy, you know, that fuel, that that vital life force type of energy. Again, it is associated with the sun. Um, we have red moon cycle. A lot of you are in this high priestess uh, phase of being in your red, you know, your red moon medicine woman healer shaman like energy. Um, embrace it at this time. A lot of you are supposed to be in, uh, you know, hermit mode too because your spirit is definitely communicating with you, talking with you. You're getting wisdom and downloads from your deities at this time, um, especially um, if you're working with um, Hecate and um, Lilith. Um, a lot of them definitely love, love, love um, when you use your red moon cycle and your blood magic. Um, they appreciate it like heavily. Um, we have snakes out here. Snakes could be um, beneficial for some of you. Um, you. Some of you may even need to look up uh, this meaning for snakes. Some of you could have even been seeing snakes. Um, but they hold a lot of wisdom and they're also close to that primal energy, right? Um, they speak of protection and um, fertility. fertility. Um, also renewal. But I'm also picking up too that some of you have um, uh, awoken your kundalini and that, that snake is starting to rise and you're starting to feel it. Could be cramp or tightness in your you know in your lower back um could definitely be um like a worming or like a you know like a, a a slithering type of sensation or some type of numb vibrating feeling it's definitely up um we have master number 33 that represents pure love you can also be a path life number six um or a path life number three uh but you have this healing presence um you could also be seen as a source of hope for some people. This is a very wise, nurturing type of person. Someone that uh, people feel comfortable talking to. Um, you know, uh, expressing their deep, deep, darkest secrets or even just hurt and trauma. Like you're almost seen as like a counselor. You're very... Wow, I just cut the deck and it said fake friends. Yeah, because this is someone that is very loving, very healing, not just to themselves, but to those around you. And, and, and sometimes people take advantage of that.
because we have false lovers and fake friends out here and i only have one card for fake friends and yeah um spirit is saying you need to really rule in your boundaries you gotta you gotta pull it in because uh you're not a, uh these people aren't reciprocating your energy and you're you have a, you're a very pure person you hold a lot of knowledge you're very connected and spirit is not feeling especially your warrior ancestors they're really not feeling how some people are handling you like they really don't know the type of being they have in their life and they're really about to mess it up any more messages flip this one we have nature spirits out here some of you have been connecting with nature spirits and you're finding this new connection very exciting for you you're starting to enjoy your hikes more you're starting to enjoy seeing certain animals more um uh, but on the flip side some of you need to connect with nature spirits they are very familiar with you and they want you to come out and connect with them um also we have you have the respect and protection of angels and we have spirit guides yeah some of you have nature spirit um spirit guides um such as certain animals and even nature spirits themselves and they want to connect with you um this is you, you're very highly protected you are you have a lot of protection around you mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. y'all gotta give me a second Take that as the last one. It says, your spells and rituals have been blessed by your deities and ancestors. You are a natural and they love and respect you in your craft. Yeah. I told you, uh, a lot of times when we're on this journey, we're alone and we don't really have, you know, any um, instructions. It doesn't come with an instruction manual. And rarely some of us has a community that understands these symptoms because that's what they are. Um, back in ancient times your whole village would rally around you and help you get through this but because we're on our own a lot of stuff we do on our own is very original um and like i said you shouldn't be using anybody anybody else's magic um especially if you read in books they should only be references because spirit really wants you to tap into your own magic they love what you do they don't care that you don't have all the tools or instructions they love that you're feeling your way through it because innately that is the truest way that we learn um by experimenting that's how the ancients did it they knew what worked and what didn't work because they trusted themselves so spirit wants you to really get into the habit of trusting yourself with this all right you're listening let me say in my prayer with this Let me get some energy to clarify this. This is a beautiful reading now. I feel like you guys are more at ease. I really don't feel this anxious, anxious, <laughs> like, energy. I don't feel like you guys are, like, fighting it. I feel like a lot of you are like, fuck it, what do I have to lose? And some of you are just really excited about how it's going and being able to understand certain things more. So that's, that's, that's good. That makes me feel a lot better. We do still have a few. But look at that. The Knight of Wands is out. Spirit is really here with you. Um, I always take this as you, you have this ancestor coming in. It's like, you know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, you, you have all these awesome things. Don't wait. Don't stop now. You know, they're coming in with a message, though. Um, some of you have been waiting on a response from something, too. Um, Spirit wants you to know it's coming. It is definitely coming in. Um, but to have patience. Ooh. But to have patience. Okay. We have the emperor out here. Yeah. They want you to just sit back. Sit on your throne. Be confident in knowing that your spells, your prayers and rituals, all of that was heard. All of that was, it worked. Like, like the card said, your spells and rituals were blessed. Your prayers too, though. You know, isn't isn't that the same thing? And for some of us too, when we pray, don't we still ask for guidance and help? So there is a message coming, you know, but they want you to be confident though. Be in your emperor like status. Be confident. Yeah. 
they know that you've been through a lot and that you're used to being let down. Um, I'm hearing even in other religions that you try to connect with and you would pray for things. It's not that here. They're saying that there, there's a whole nother realm behind the one we're in and there's a certain order to things. Um, but be patient. They know that you've experienced a lot. You're waiting for your justice. You're waiting for your moment to shine and you're going to have it. You're going to have it. You're going to be able to get into this energy where you can bless others with whatever gifts, spirit gifts you with. But it, it's, it's, you have to take your time. I, I'm just, I just keep picking up like a lot of patience. Yeah, spirit knows you, you've been through it. They know, like you, you've been through it. But they're bringing you something. They're like, you, you, you got to hold on because you, you're definitely going to have choices here. They're, they they, they want to teach you patience because you see how many cups she has. But if you look closely, some of these cups ain't what you want. Like, this is chaos. Who, you know, the spirit is like, I need you to be confident enough to know that when you get these choices, you're confident in the decisions that you make and the decisions that you pick. If you rush it, you might end back up in this energy because you went too fast. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, they don't, they know that you're worried about certain things that judgment needs to be called on and it will be. Whatever enemies, whatever past love, fake family, whatever is trying to get in your way, judgment is being called on these people because spirit is really coming in. They really are trying to bring you and bless you something. Um, and it has a lot to do with your purpose because you're, you're going to be celebrating. You definitely are. We have the three of cups out here. You're going to be celebrating. They just they they just need you to believe. Like they they know this journey ain't. I say it all the time. This journey ain't. You know, it's not for the faint of heart. And they try to reward you at every every chance they get. But they know some of you are praying and asking for things that are huge. That are huge generational. You know, uh, curse breakers. But they need you to be patient because that kind of shake and move take you know a lot of shake and move. Yeah, we have the three of wands here. Some of you, like I said, and I'm an intuitive reader when it comes to these cards. And some of you are like very stubborn and like, well, my ships have already sailed. But when you look at this card, are the ships even out the picture? You can't tell if they're coming or going. And I always like to think positive because a lot of these cards hold duality like energy. Like I said, she doesn't have any wands. She has three. The ships aren't out the picture. So are they coming or going? It's it's kind of like, is the glass half empty or is it half full? I would rather think that my ships are coming in and I got three wands and they're going to help me get the rest that I need so I can get to the ace of wands. You get what I'm saying? So that I can be fulfilled. I like to think that this is, you know, my ships coming in, my opportunities are coming in and I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You know, I'm not beat up. I'm not down and I'm not wineless. I'm ready. Yeah. Moving on. See, eight of cups. I always take this as like, you know what? I can do better. This is eight. I want ten of cups. I can move on from this. You know? I can I can do this. And that's what spirit wants. They want you to be patient enough so that you can see your strengths. Stop honing in on your weaknesses. Because eventually, when you get strong enough, your weaknesses become your strengths. You, you, you run out of, look at that, spiritual inheritance. Like I said, they're bringing you something. They're going to gift you something. They know. They know, they know, but some of you, oops, yeah, look, look at that. <laughs> we got justice here, and then underneath that, I've seen the world peeking out. You're going to get justice. You're going to get everything that your heart desires. The scales will be balanced, but some of you have fake friends. Some of you have false lovers that are around, and they're blocking us, and spirit is like, we're, we're taking our time because we need you to have patience because... You have certain stuff in your way that you need to kind of clear out. We're going to help you clear it out. But at the same time, we want you to recognize your strengths. Don't listen to the naysayers. Take your time in making strategic decisions so that we can help you too. Because we have to move strategically as well. Any last messages? All right, I'll take those two. And then I'll move on to my last cards. Look at that. What I say? The Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So, like I, I always say, when you in this energy, it's like, is the glass half empty or is it half full? Then I say you would get to your Ace of Wands that these ships will bring in opportunities 
you have three wands. You're going to get to your ace of wands. Spirit knows that a lot of you have a lot on your mind and on your plate, not just on your spiritual path, but in your personal life, in your professional life, and in your social life. A lot of shit behind the scenes is happening and shaking and moving for y'all, but Spirit needs y'all to look. Get into these energies because y'all royalty for real. Royal people are very patient and move strategically and they have a team. You have a team who wants you to be patient because you're royalty. I'm using the Angel and Ancestors deck. I'm so excited. I love these cards already. Amazing. And I'll read um, a short message from the cards that we get. I won't read the full message because you guys should definitely um, be making your own Oracle cards. But it doesn't hurt when a deck calls out to you to, to get it. So if this deck speaks to you, I highly encourage that you definitely get it. All right. Let me say a quick prayer over there. the bottom of the deck we have seer um that says see beyond the current situation exactly spirit is like they know what it looks like it looks like we ain't hear you your ships ain't never coming in you're doing all this work and some of you are are already in this type of emperor and queen of wands energy where you're like i already know my you know my stuff coming in i've already seen the signs and i've reconciled with everything i needed to do and i'm waiting and some of you are getting a bit nervous in spirit. It's like, I need you to have faith, baby. You got to believe that what you're, what you're doing and what you did is enough. They need you to start taking care of yourself a bit. Yeah, we have medicine, mother. Honor your inner knowing. Yes, please. Know that you are doing enough. Know that what you have done in the in the work and in the progress you made was worth it. And it wasn't in vain. They hear you. Let's see here. This book is into me. Oh, oh yeah. Bear with me for a second, guys. I just got this book myself. Okay, here we go. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Take action. Do what you know you need to do. Like I said, some of you already did that and you just need to have patience. Um, let's see here. Hmm. All right, I'll read the extended message. There is an old pattern rising up in you now, and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're, you're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You already know the answers. You know what you need to do. You may have been using delaying tactics to hold back, but now you are guided to take action. Action requires courage. But your angels and guides are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. When you do, the next one will be presented to you. Like I said, have patience. You'll know when to what to do when the time comes. I'll take the one that flipped over. Mm -mm. Okay, we have Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Lord, take charge with authority. And we have High Priestess, harness mystic power. So let's get into that. Let's see here. Who do we have? Okay, Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. The message for that one is, move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members, past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavioral patterns. And then we have Lord, take charge, Lord, take charge with authority. 
Don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. Then we have High Priestess. I would read the full messages, but they're a bit long. Mm. High Priestess, harness mystic power. Align with the light and focus on all things positive. Okay, I'll read this first sentence. You are a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses. All right, I think these were all beautiful messages. I hope you guys resonated. Like, like I said, this is an energy exchange. My tip jar and my cash app will be in the description box below. But if you can, if you're or if you don't feel called to, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, help me get um, as many views as possible so that I can get these messages to others that may need to hear them. Thank you all so much for being a part of this thriving community. I appreciate everyone that participates and I hope you all enjoy your day. Take care.